What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today will be the fourth episode of my best dribble pull-up series and we'll be covering MJ dribble pull-up. This one here came from some comment requests so just let me know in the comment section which one you want me to cover next. And it would be really awesome as well if you can support the series by liking the video or by leaving any feedback. And with this one, I recommend to not just jump into the stat part because you will lose the whole context of the video and end up with a lot of questions. So I really recommend to listen to the whole thought process on why I tested it like this. So now let's get right into it. So basically, I will run these exact sequence here in lots of repetitions and take note of the average contest. Now you might ask, Chutes, why not just get the stats for the gather speed and another stat for distance covered? That's one way to do it, but I think it's better if I can just get the contest average because both gather speed and distance covered will be factored in already on that average contest anyway. In that way, I can easily rank them. And in terms of green window, I haven't really tested if animations will have different green window sizes, but for sure, it will be somehow related to contest. The less contest, the less shrinking of your green window. Now, there's a minor problem. It's hard to make every sequence 100% exactly the same. Getting the exact distance between shooter and blocker, the angles, the point where the blocker starts to jump, and some other things are really hard to repeat 100% exactly the same on all samples. So to make it more accurate, aside from trying to make them exactly the same, I'll take 100 samples on each one to reduce the margin of error. So now for the results, in terms of going to the strong hand side, surprisingly, it's on the last place so far. I'm not judging these animations overall, maybe some of you might feel that MJ has better flow or whatever, but in terms of producing contest in that exact sequence, MJ is the worst one so far. And on the other side, the weak hand side, it's the worst one as well. I know it's kinda odd to see MJ at the bottom of the list because we all know in real life, he's one of the most effective, if not the most effective in terms of fades, but that's how 2k works, I mean, T-Mac has one of the best bases and he's not even one of the best shooters. So it is what it is. So again, please let me know in the comment section any feedback about this or any recommendation for a topic. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.